Hey there guys, so tonight I'm going to be imaging the Jellyfish Nebula. Okay, so the Jellyfish Nebula, as you all already probably know, uh, is a supernova remnant. And uh, I really think that it's a beautiful deep sky target to image, but it's quite faint, so that's why I spent uh, a lot of time on it uh, already. And uh, I think that tonight's imaging session uh, will be the cherry on top, which I would really like to have. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little sad about is uh, the way I framed uh, the target. Well, I shouldn't say the way I framed it, but uh, that I didn't use the focal reducer because now a part of the nebula is cut and I didn't want to start the whole project uh, from the beginning because there are some other targets uh, that I would like to image uh, now that they are still uh, in a favorable in a favor now that they are still in a favorable position uh, in the night sky but anyway there is actually something that i wanted to mention uh, about the OFXS guider which i just got but before i say anything i'll probably go rather inside because it's very cold and uh, i'm actually freezing my ass off here <laughs> I should probably apologize uh, about the quality of the sound but uh, I had to hide in the basement to make uh, the rest of the video because uh, I didn't want to wake uh, everyone up uh, while talking to you guys but uh, yeah this is sort of my little room where I do my uh, my paintings when the weather is bad and uh, I can do any astrophotography so yeah, I like to spend uh, quite some time here but anyway so what I actually wanted to report about is uh, report about yeah, I wanted to report because I'm a reporter now. We are coming to you live from the basement that it's crazy down here. People think that the earth is flat. But they don't know that they are hard. Okay, I'm going way off here. But what I actually wanted to mention uh, about the off access gutter is uh, that uh, I had uh, quite some concerns uh, before I uh, bought it because as uh, most of you already know, uh, I'm using quite a cheap uh, telescope so I already have some issues with uh, with the stars on the edges and uh, I didn't uh, know how this will translate uh, to the off-axis guider if PhD and uh, the ACR app uh, will uh, recognize those as stars because uh, as more as you move to the side of the telescope uh, the more the stars are elongated but uh, since the last video I've done uh, quite some testing on uh, both of those programs and uh, I have to say I didn't have uh, any problems uh, guiding and uh, at this point I don't really know if uh, any of you guys are interested in this but uh, but those are some concerns that uh, I had before I bought uh, the off access guider and I am sorry if I bore you with information that you don't really need but I got uh, one question uh, about the focal reducer for the off axis guider and I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous video but uh, I didn't find uh, any information about the correct uh, spacing that should be between the, the focal reducer and the chip. When I took a look at the images uh, on the laptop, uh, I kind of eyeball it. So I would say that uh, I'm at 0 0.7, 0 0.8 reduction. You have to remember that uh, the reduction depends a lot uh, on the spacing between uh, your uh, reducer and your chip. But anyway, like I said, I just uh, eyeball it so I don't have the correct answer. So if any of you guys know uh, some more information, I would uh, really appreciate it if uh, you would uh, mention it uh, in the comments so uh, so the rest of us could uh, see. I do promise that as soon as I have uh, more information on that, uh, I will mention it in uh, some of the future videos. But yeah, I think that for today that's it. And again, I'm really sorry if the video was uh, all over the place, but I did want to get out uh, some of my self-pity thoughts. Uh, just in case uh, any of you have the same uh, concerns. I would like to thank you guys for watching and see you again next time. Take care. Bye!